Welcome back to Fry Minis. I'm Eric, and today we're going to review Boneyard. Okay, so thanks for clicking in, everybody. So, Boneyard, it is WizKids' latest Icons of the Realm pre-painted D&D miniature set. It's themed all around undead and undead-adjacent creatures. We've got a great variety here, all the way from a bunch of different zombies and skeletons, uh, all the way up to mummy lords, uh, bone whelks, and undead Tyrannosaurus rexes. Ultimately, we ended up unboxing two bricks. So if you missed our unboxing video, click here. Julie did it and it's awesome and it's our best unboxing video ever. And the second brick we just opened off screen. So this video will be just a review. And in the future, we're going to change it up a little bit. We'll be doing the unboxings as live streams and then just feature these uh, shorter review videos so you can get an idea of the whole set. Now, seeing as we did only have two bricks, we are missing a couple of minis here, but we actually ended up with most of them. Now, typically, whenever a new set comes out, WizKids also publishes a premium miniature, so something really fancy. So with uh, Fangs and Talons, we have the Purple Worm. Here, we have two Dracoliches, one green and one blue. Boneyard also features two promo packs. If you order on dndmini.com, the official uh, WizKids site there, uh, you can get a pack of Cobalt Skeletons. And if you go to your friendly local game store, you can pick up the Orc Skeleton promo pack. And side note, there's actually been a little bit of drama about that. To learn more, check out minisgallery.com and go to the forums. Okay, so before we jump into the actual review real quick, I want to say a special thank you to my patrons, the Spud Club. Thank you all so much. It's your support that makes it possible for me to buy these minis to do these reviews. So thank you. And if you're not already a patron, that's the best way to support the channel. So go over to patreon.com slash fry minis and take a look. We've got all sorts of special perks from mini of the month shout out, homebrew and painting reviews, uh, all the way up to special secret games. Please consider supporting the channel through the Spud Club. Also come hang out with us over on Discord. I've got a link to join the Fry Minis Discord server. We host a weekly paint night every Friday at 8.30 Central, so come hang out and paint a mini with us. Okay, quick reminder on the scale. Three is exactly what I would expect it to be. Four is, this is good, and five is, whoa, this is amazing. Uh, two, reverse, eh, not great. And one is, this is awful. All right, so let's take a look. I'm really happy with this set. I think uh, WizKids, did a fantastic job with the Boneyard uh, Icons of the Realm set here. When they first announced the set, I was a little nervous that, oh, it's undead. It's just going to be a couple skeletons or whatever, but they had some really great variety here. Uh, one of the things that really stood out to me that I wasn't expecting to like so much was the variety of the common type uh, monsters. So the different skeletons, the different zombies. I think that's really cool because you'll use a lot of those in your game. So you can put down multiple miniatures that all have the same stat block, but it's easier to call out at your table, oh, I'm gonna attack the elf zombie, I'm gonna attack the dwarf zombie. It just helps and it's a little quality of life measure. And kind of on the same point about that versatility, um, most campaigns you're going to run across undead at some point, even if it's not an undead themed thing like Curse of Strahd, uh, you'll still have random encounters or uh, maybe a little tomb sequence here or there where you can use these undead. While I really enjoyed the sculpts for most of these, and I thought they were just a lot of fun, I was let down by some of the paint jobs on these, uh, especially things that have like meat to bone uh, points, even like on the T-Rex zombie. Like that's overall, that was a fantastic mini, but sometimes where the bone is is just kind of muddily painted. And I found that a recurring theme. So a, a lot of these are still really great, but that's, that's my critical feedback there. Also, one thing that happened that's never happened to me before is I had two Krakens in one brick. I get that the mini is only uncommon, so it's possible. Uh, it just doesn't feel very good to get two of the same huges. Especially uh, since it's a, a Kraken. I don't know how many junior Krakens I'm going to ever need at once. If it had been two skeleton hill giants, that would have been a little easier for me. I didn't expect to love this set. I was expecting to think it was uh, it was a fine, it was okay set, no big deal. Uh, like Fangs and Talons, I expected to love that one right off the bat. Just full of monsters, I, I had high hopes. Uh, here, I was, I was impressed, I, it came out great. I really loved it, and this was a good set. I do wanna give the Bone Naga the uh, worst paint job ever award. That is just, uh, that, that one's embarrassing. 
And I do want to do a special shout out for the Atropole. This is a fantastic mini. I wouldn't change anything about it. It's the paint job is awesome. The pose is awesome. The actual sculpt detail is awesome. It's it's five out of five, no doubt about it. But it is the grossest mini, the most disgusting mini I've ever seen. And I just, oh, <laughs> if I had a uh, rating for her, how do I feel about this? This would be a one star. And one more special shout out for the Elder Black Pudding. I love, love, love uh, interactable minis so that you can hide creatures inside of there like it's absorbing, just like the smaller black pudding, the large size black pudding, I think is fantastic. I'd love to see more minis like this. And extra bonus shout out for the Tyrannosaurus zombie that has the actual zombies that it can spit out from its stat block. So that overall enjoyment of the set really shines through. With the star distribution, you can see uh, this is heavily weighted, a high ranking. Uh, overall average rating, sculpt 4.0, so four out of five. Uh, paint, uh, like I said, this is kind of the weakness part for me here, which is 3.2. Fun is 4.2, extremely fun set. And our overall average star ranking for the set at three and a half stars is our newest high ranking set. Okay, so this is a very good set. The quality is fantastic. And because we've got a whole range all the way from uh, monsters for first level all the way up to crazy 20th level type monsters, uh, this is good for any campaign. If you're a fresh dungeon master, this might be a pretty good set to get. Otherwise, maybe check out the Goblin Warband. We just did an unboxing and review of that. Uh, that way you're covered for goblins too. One thing I do want to mention is I pre-ordered my first brick through dndmini.com, the official website, weeks and weeks and weeks before uh, launch. And the listed release date was March 2021. So as other stores were getting their inventory in and I was still waiting, I gave in and I emailed D&D Mini on April 8th. And the very next day, I happened to get an order shipment notification and a response. They said something about some of the minis being put on the wrong truck. And that's what caused the delay. I get that delays happen, but when we're over a week past the like most extreme version of the release window, and you're on dndmini.com, so you're paying full price for these bricks and minis, I do wish we could be a little more proactive with our customer communication to say, hey, we've got a delay. I don't think that's an unreasonable request because I can tell you 100 out of 100 times, I would rather know that I need to wait for a delay rather than just hoping something shows up eventually. So it's not the end of the world and they did give me a code for 10% off my next order. Uh, so if you were impacted by this delay, I'd encourage you to email D&D Mini and see if maybe they can help you out. So overall, is Boneyard awesome? Yes. 3.5 out of 5. That's my highest star rating overall yet. Cool. I hope you enjoy the set. I sure did. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.